Uh, what's going on everybody? It is Wednesday, beautiful sunny day at that. It's warming up a little bit, still a little, a little chilly out there depending on where you're at. Got old Cody Bear right there playing, eating his tennis ball, enjoying the beautiful weather. Uh, so today I went grocery shopping, got some groceries, went to Sam's, got some things. And, uh, you know, especially if I'm paying to train and paying to work out and everything else, I don't just waste my money. So went and grabbed some, some healthier food choices. Uh, you know, I think the saying goes, what is it, like weight loss is... 20% working out and 80% meals. So, uh, or it's in the kitchen or something like that. However that saying goes, I, I don't remember. But uh, anyway, I went out and bought some food and this was a lot easier when I was single, even if when I had kids, you know, when I was going through that separation, you know, I just buy what I want and kids ate this and I eat this, you know, and that was a whole lot easier. Now, because one, the budget's so tight, I just can't buy my own meals and the family fends for themselves. Whatever I buy, I have to include the family. I can't just, I can't just isolate myself in this food. Uh, it's not fair. So, um, so I gotta be willing to share. So we got some chicken, got some blueberries, um, some coconut water, eggs, of course, another 15 dozen of eggs. And uh, I also, the blueberries, man, look, I got a sweet tooth, man, I do. It's one of my downfalls. And um, so I bought some blueberries, I saw this thing online and decided to uh, put some blueberries in a pulverizer and put them on a baking sheet and put them in the oven at 175 degrees for six hours to make my own fruit roll up. We'll see how it works out. Um, let you guys know as well. Uh, just trying to find some healthier uh, alternatives uh, to my sweet tooth until I'm able to really work and kick on that habit. <laughs> I'm noticing I can see my hand in the uh, background here with my shades on. But, uh, you know, a lot of times we get real eager to see success right away. And long-term sustainable success, I don't believe is built overnight i think it is acquired over time of going through things learning new things um adapting um you know just just trying to get over the things that that are difficult and to me i want this i want it to be the final time that this has to happen so i don't know what causes me, and I'm just being real, you know, not so much for you, but for me, I don't know what causes me to revert back to food. I don't know if it's anything that is, that stemmed from childhood or what. Uh, but during this process, it's an area that I want to negotiate through. A lot of times when I go in and I'm on this weight loss thing and I'm training, I bring out my own willpower and I strive and I, I am so good at it. I know what to do, I, 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 I single things out. Um, like I said, I, I buy my own meals that nobody's allowed to touch because it's my meal. Um, go into the gym, I'm focused, I'm focused, I'm driven, but it's not sustainable because when I reach a certain goal or get to a certain point, I stop. So there's, there's something there 
that I want to process and get to the bottom of the root of it and cut it off and eliminate. I want this to be, I really do want this to be the last time I'm going through this roller coaster of weight loss, weight gain, weight loss. I'm weighing in at 275, which is the highest I've ever been. Last time I got on the kick, I was, um, what actually happened several times, right after my fall, I was in the wheelchair for three months. And then after the wheelchair, um, I was in some walking cast. And I think when I fell, I was weighing in at 180. Um, wasn't fat at all. I mean, I was framing houses. So, uh, so there was a lot of good energy there. Plus I was young, had a ton of testosterone. And I remember stepping on the scale and seeing myself at 190. No, it was 195. And I'm like, holy crap, I'm fat. Honestly, looking back, you know what I'd do <laughs> to be 195 right now? Holy smokes, that would be amazing to be 195. But anyway, um, because I was around 180 or 175, it was something like that. And I was 195, I was fat. So I got real lean and it was the leanest I ever got. I think I got down to like 9% body fat. Um, then got comfortable, got married, put on some weight, got up to 245, I believe. Lost the weight, got really back in shape, went through B lit, you know, tried to get on as, uh, um, in the, uh, with the, the police department, um, never landed, uh, uh, the way I wanted it. So then I started putting on weight and the next time I reached a place, um, actually, let me go back when I was at 240 and I went down, I was at like 195 and I mean, I was, I was thick, you know, um, put on that, some of that adult muscle, I guess. Then the next time was I was 260 and I got down to 235 and then just stopped going to the gym. And then now I'm at 275. So each time this happens, it gets higher and higher and higher. So my God, I don't want this to happen again. So whatever this root cause is, I've got to deal with and, and address. So I, I live a, a healthy lifestyle um, with my kids and everything else. Um, and it seems like when I reach a certain goal or reach a certain point, I just stop. That's the problem. And every time I think about it, I go back to my childhood and I remember one instance, like one example, I was in karate. And... Are you a white belt before you're a belt? I don't know. But I was new to the class, brand stinking new. Never done it before in my life. But I was a brawler. I could fight. And people like to call them senseis. I ain't calling you no sensei. My instructor wanted me to compete. And he didn't want me to compete against people in my class. He wanted me to compete against people higher up than me. And I got scared. I'm like, hey, no, man, I'm getting my tail beat. And I decided to quit. My father did not push me and say, hey, you're not quitting. You're going to persevere. Same thing with baseball when I was a kid. Same thing with a bunch of other things. And maybe that is where it's at. Maybe when I reach a goal, not that I've had a goal in karate or baseball or anything like that, but it causes me to stop. Uh, which is one of the main reasons as a father now, I do things so differently than my dad did as is the case with most of us. We're opposite of our parents. Um, is I really, when, when my kids try to commit to something, I really try to push them all the way through until uh, even if they fail, I, I try to push them through that that uh, 
that hurdle, you know, so, so they don't connect a difficult situation with stopping and retracting and running away. So, you know, that's something I need to start considering too. Um, I think the more I sit here and the more I contemplate things and the more I do vlogs and journal this um, journey, I'll discover some interesting things about me. Some might be pretty ugly. Some might need deep-rooted healing. Who knows? I don't know. It's not going to be easy. But I'm tired of it. You know? I want to live free. I want to be healthy. You know? Physically, spiritually, emotionally. All that stuff. And it's there. Just got to obtain it. So I'm excited. I'm excited about this journey. Um, I'm excited to overcome the difficulties of snacking and putting on weight and being insecure with my body and just not living life to the fullest. So I love you guys. You know, if, if this video helps people, great. But like I said, it's really for me just to express myself and open my heart. Love you guys. See ya.